In this video I'm going to show you how to find a standardized test statistic. This is the general form for finding the standardized test statistic. We've got the statistic minus the parameter divided by the standard deviation of the statistic. So this is the general form. The two particular forms you're likely to come across. The first is the z-score. Our statistic is x-bar. The parameter is mu of zero and the standard deviation for this particular statistic is going to be standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So x bar is our sample mean mu of 0 that is the population mean Sigma, that's our standard deviation, and n is our sample size. The second formula you're likely to see for a standardized test statistic is the t-score. It looks very similar to the z-score. We've got our x-bar and our mu of 0, but this time instead of sigma, our standard deviation of the population, we've got S, which is the standard deviation of the sample. So S is also the standard deviation, but it's the sample. And I'll put population up here. Let me show you an example of actually finding a standardized test statistic using one of those formulas. I've got a sample question here. The mean life of a particular battery is 75 hours. Got a sample size of 9, standard deviation of 10, and a sample mean of 80 hours. Find the standardized test statistic. Well, we have two formulas, the Z or the T, and in general, you want to use the T-score if your sample size is under 30, and also if you don't know the population standard deviation, which we don't know in this case, and we have a small sample. So I'm going to use the t-score to find the standardized test statistic. So my t-score is going to be x-bar, that's the sample mean, that's given in the question as 80. Minus mu of 0, that's the population mean. And we're given the population mean here, it's 75. Divided by S, that is the standard deviation of the sample. And that's given as 10. Next, we want to divide this by the square root of N, which is our sample given as 9 in the question. That gives us 5 over 10 divided by square root of 9. If I do that on my calculator, I get 3.333. 5 divided by 3.333 is going to give us 1.5. So this is our t-score, and this is also our standardized test statistic.